In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can replace the boring graph to this particular slide. You can see here I have created five options here. And when I click, it will show you the first option with 80%, then 40%, 95%, 30%, 60%. Or if you have you if you want, you can add more options here. So this is a very good slide for you to showcase the data in a very graphical way. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. And before that, uh, let me just tell you that this making this slide is very easy and you can use this uh, any PowerPoint version from 2010 to 2000 uh, Office 365 version. So let's start. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. You can see here, let me just go to the format background. I have used the color combination of ice blue color. I have used four stops for this. Then go to insert shapes, select a uh, oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use a dark teal color then right mouse click go to format shape under effects select 3d rotation and from presets i'm just going to select which is off axis to top and then go to 3d format depth i'm going to make it something maybe 35 and here the top bevel I'm just going to select this round and then very important here the lighting effect I'm just going to select this one can you see here the moment I selected this one if I select I will get the different uh, shading so let me just select this one and here let it be the warm matte finish I'm going to insert one more oval shape, go to shape, select an oval shape. I have to make a smaller oval shape. Shape outline, maybe you can select white. And shape fill also, I'm just selecting white. And then go to 3D, uh, sorry, the, the effects. Go to the 3D rotation. I'm going to select the same again, off axis to top. And here 3D format, I'm going to select the depth maybe let me just select 80 no I need more than that maybe 200 yes and then I'm just going to lighting effect I will select the flat and let me just select the transculent power transculent powder sorry and I'm just going to put it on top of this one and let me just go here i will just set the contour and contour i'm just going to select the white color so you can see here the white color is there and we can add some more shapes to give it more uh, brightness now i want to put a lid or a cap on this one for that i'm just going to select this particular shape the our the base Control d to duplicate it and then hold the shift key and reduce the size and here go to effects and the depth maybe instead of 35 i'm just going to give five only can you see this and then i'm just going to put it on top of this and that's it so it's uh, close now uh, the our the foundation is ready now we have to put the data bar here now comes the main part where I'm going to insert the, the main uh, bar here. For that, let me just go to insert shapes, select a, a rectangle, draw a small rectangle so that it will fit in this particular bar. So it's fitting. So shape outline, I'm not going to give any outline and I'm going to select a gradient fill for this and let me just keep only three points or three stop the first stop i'm going to make it white and the direction i want the white to be on the left side and here here i'm just going to select some dark colors go to more i'm going to select some dark colors and 
here I'm let me just select some a light color so this is more darker actually let me just select this one and go to more colors customs I can increase the darkness here so whichever color whichever way you can do it now I can just put it here let me just zoom in you can see here but the base is not good for this it look a straight flat one so what I'm going to do is right mouse click go to edit points and I'm just going to select the point here and just drag it a little bit and this also I'm going to drag it a little bit here so you can see here it has got the curve shape and then I can just place it here in the middle so it looks something like this still we need to do some more thing here I'm just going to show you now let me just give some 3d effect to this also I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit and again let me just zoom in right mouse click edit points and the top left point I'm just going to increase a little bit something like this okay and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select a oval shape small oval shape shape outline make it no outline and give some dark color to it reduce the size and just send to back so you can see here it looks like a, a 3d effect there all right so i can just select this two control g to group it and then i'm just going to put it here So you can see here, uh, I'm just going to add now some percentages here. I'll just say maybe this is 80% and give me, I'll give white color and I'm going to set the font called impact and I'm going to put it on top of this. Maybe I can reduce the size so you can see here and then you can go to insert icons I can select some icons maybe this icon I will select go to insert reduce the size and I'm going to give a white color and you can give some a glow effect glow effect I'll just use this and the color I'm going to use white and then below you can add the details and below you can add the title for that go to insert text box add a text box and I'm just going to say that text your text here and I'm just going to add one uh, rectangle and with the same I'm going to use the same uh, color combinations or the gradient fill and then shape outline make it no outline or you can give white outline also sorry white outline also and then you put the text on top of this bring to front and text color make it white and put it here and below you can add the detailed text reduce the size and you can add the detailed text so you can see here the design is over now I'm just going to give the animation to it go to animation enable the animation pane I'm just going to select this orange bar inside and I'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect just say from bottom and the same time I'm just going to give 
animation to the percentage maybe i can give a basic zoom effect and this should happen with previous so if i play we can see here and then i can select all and move to one side you can see here and press ctrl d how many you want you can just add it next to each one you can see here i've added then i can just simply go here go to format shape and then i can change the color maybe i can choose some different colors you can see here and then i can reduce the size also here and this will be like 40 percent for example so likewise you can just go for each and then change the color i'm going to give maybe some this color and one light color so you can see here and the background also the small one also you can just change the color so this way you can just create this slide in an attractive way that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye